Hi everyone, thanks so much for being with us on this Tuesday. I'm Christy Casciano. First of four, rising water on Lake Ontario, raising concerns for neighbors and businesses along the shore. News Channel Line's Rob Hackford joining us live. He's in Greece, where the international body that monitors the lake's level met today. Rob, what have you found out? Yeah, Christy, this is the first time that we're hearing from those newly elected board members. There's two, there's six individuals uh, on that board, three of them from the U.S. and three of them from Canada. Again, this is the first time we're hearing from them, and unfortunately, the news that they had is that there are no changes that they can currently make that will change the lake levels in 2019 along Lake Ontario. Some neighbors in, in the audience today are in during that press conference, notably disappointed by that news. Now, there again, as I said, there are six board members, and based on their adjustments are based on the entire Great Lakes system and Canadian waterways, but they say because we are so late in the season, any drastic outflow or change would negatively impact the Canadian waterways. So it's a very delicate system and something that they're watching very closely. They say Plan 2014, which many individuals have blamed for all of this high water and the flooding that has been along the lakeshore uh, for that, but they weren't so keen on that. They said that high rain totals like we've had this year and in 2017 have been a contributing factor to that. So there are many angles that they are looking at this problem and hoping to address them in the coming years. Again, we've seen the damage along the lakeshore in Fairhaven. The Deputy Mayor of Fairhaven was here today and we'll be hearing from him at 5 o'clock as well as the village mayor at Sodus Point. Both those individuals addressing those IJC board members and we'll have more from them coming up. Rob Hackford live in the town of Greece where there's lots of worry today about the high lake levels there. Rob, thank you.